Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're going to do a detailed review of the latest uh, laptop from ASUS under the premium category, the ASUS Flip S UX371, which is launched in India. So this is a new two-in-one uh, device uh, with a really premium build, top-of-the-line hardware, and 11th gen Intel uh, processor. So how good it is uh, for the price segment? What all features it offers? How is the performance? So all those things we'll analyze in this video. So uh, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that, that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So ASUS Flip series have been really popular. It's a two-in-one convertible laptop with a touch screen and you can also use it as a tablet mode. So these are some of the highlights of the Flip series. So the ASUS Flip S UX371 is a premium ultra book. Now it's not only a lightweight compact, but it also has top of the line hardware like a 4K display, uh, Intel Core i7 processor, 16 gigs of RAM and one TB of hard disk along with that a really good battery life. So let's go straight into the detail aspect to see how good it is and how does it uh, uh, work in this price segment. So let's get started. So first let's have a look at the design and build quality. Now if you look at the design aspect, you can see that it's an all metal chassis. The back panel is a uh, plastic material, but overall it's, uh, it's a well-built uh, uh, finishing. It's a metal chassis and you can see that the ASUS logo here. You can see here red copper accents are given and you also get the concentric circles. So the, the, the uh, front panel design is kind of okay, but this is kind of more or less predictable design from all the ASUS lineup. We have these concentric circles, ASUS logo towards the uh, left side. Now you can also see that uh, the device has a really good premium build quality. Now if you look at the uh, the overall material in uh, finishing you can see it's a, it's a well built laptop uh, great finishing overall uh, you can also see that the red copper accents around the uh, bottom section and which actually gives it a really good uh, premium finishing it's a well built laptop uh, and uh, it's an all metal body chassis and you can also see that the bezels are also kind of minimal we'll come back to that later now it's just uh, 1.2 kilograms in weight so it's a very lightweight build as well and extremely thin just 14 uh, mm uh, in thickness that's what uh, asus claims now it's a uh, very lightweight uh, laptop so good thing about this laptop it's a it's a flip series so you can actually flip the display uh, to make it a laptop or, or to a tablet and uh, in the tablet mode you can also use the touch uh, pad you can see that this is a touch pad it works really well now we'll talk about the display and the touch experience later now you can also flip it uh, back now you can also see that you can have different uh, angles to the device so you can use it as a regular uh, laptop uh, flat uh, laptop you can also flip it for movie experience you can use it uh, like this uh, for a better uh, movie experience so all those uh, things you can do now uh, the fans are placed here uh, towards the display area now uh, you can also see that the, the overall finishing the matte finishing on the uh, the uh, keyboard area looks really nice now overall the build quality is definitely good and uh, looks really nice now, in terms of uh, the experience you can see that uh, the keyboard is an edge to edge keyboard which means very less space has been wasted here so that actually looks uh, really good and you can also see that uh, this is a 360 degree hinge as i said before now this hinge is uh, extremely tested uh, almost up to 20,000 times you can actually flip it and that's something which is really incredible and this also certifies the US military grade standard so in terms of build quality this is a really great device now as usual uh, with uh, any uh, ASUS laptop you can see that there is an ergo lift uh, uh, keyboard so you can see that as soon as you lift the display uh, it actually lifts the uh, keyboard area so that you get a comfortable typing experience again something which has been there on a lot of ASUS laptops so this is something which is pretty good implemented on the flip S as well now next let's move on to the ports available so on the left side you get the full size hdmi port two thunderbolt ports uh, the usb type c port you get an led indicator for charging on the right side you get a usb 3.2 gen 1 type a port and the power button is included so it gets uh, one usb type a and a two usb type c and a full size hdmi port included so next let's move on to the display so the asus flip s ux371 comes with uh, a 13.3 inch uh, oled display and this is a 4k display 38 40 by 2160p resolution it's a touch to enable display and this has a hundred percentage dcip3 color gamut with hdr support and 500 nits of brightness included so it's a really great display in terms of uh, viewing angles colors and uh, uh, the overall display quality looks really good the brightness levels are also really impressive now uh, you can also do a bit of customization with asus uh, option so we felt that the display colors are slightly on the saturated side but nevertheless you have the option to customize the display 
ఉంటుంది బేస్డ్ ఆన్ ద సాఫ్ట్వేర్ ఆప్షన్స్ అవైలబుల్ సో ఏజూస్ డిస్ప్లే ట్యూనింగ్ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ అలౌస్ యూ టు డూ ఎ లాట్ ఆఫ్ కస్టమైజేషన్ ఫర్ డిఫరెంట్ ఆస్పెక్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద డిస్ప్లే అండ్ ఇట్స్ ఆల్సో ప్యాన్ డోన్ వ్యాలిడేట్ డిస్ప్లే సో యూ గెట్ ద బెస్ట్ డిస్ప్లే ఆస్పెక్ట్ ఆన్ ద ఏజూస్ ఫ్లిప్ ఎస్ యుఎక్స్ త్రీ సెవెంటీ వన్ so if you're a person who uh, loves to watch a lot of movies uh, and uh, uh, entertainment this is definitely one of the good displays out there 4k display a uh, great uh, uh, viewing angles excellent colors and also the overall experience using the display the 4k display is really good so it's a really good entertainment device in terms of the display experience now next let's move on to the software so this device has the windows 10 home so you can see here this is the windows 10 home it's a touch enabled display so as usual uh, if you're using uh, the touch display you can go to the tablet mode if you flip it uh, it goes to the tablet mode otherwise it's the regular display you can also use the touch uh, display here you can see that uh, uh, the touch response is pretty good and you can actually uh, uh, you can see that uh, the touch display works really well and uh, you can also see that uh, there is a flip uh, mechanism as i said before and when you flip it uh, it mo- goes to the tablet mode you can actually uh, disable the tablet mode as well so this is the tablet mode and in the tablet mode uh, there is also a pen which works really well so a pen input also has been included in the box package so it means you can uh, use the pen for different aspects like uh, drawing uh, and lot of things can be done with the pe- pen input so this is the uh, bundle with the box package and the soft your experience is pretty good uh, being a windows laptop it has all the features you definitely see on uh, a windows laptop works really well and uh, overall experience has been pretty good on this device next let's move on to the processor and the performance aspect so this is powered by the latest uh, intel 11th gen uh, core i7 processor 1165 uh, g7 processor and this has uh, the uh, integrated gpu the intel iris xc graphics so it does not have a dedicated uh, graphics card but it's having 16 gigs of uh, lpddr4 ram and uh, you also get 1 tb of uh, nvme ssd which is pretty good in terms of performance now if you look at the benchmark score so uh, we have uh, the geekbench score of 1535 for single core and a multi core uh, value as 5070 which is pretty good uh, for uh, uh, this processor now even if you look at the ssd read write speed it's quite good score Uh, much better than uh, the Asus ZenBook uh, series uh, because this is more of a premium laptop offered. So overall in terms of day-to-day performance as well, it was pretty good, uh, good experience overall. Uh, we did uh, do a bit of rendering, uh, uh, video rendering uh, with this and it was quite good. Although the heat generator was slightly on the high side, again, not a major concern though because uh, this does not have a dedicated graphics card. So you can still do a bit of rendering uh, and you, you can do a uh, quite good task with uh, like Photoshop editing, but not for gaming because it does not have a, a dedicated graphic card and the overall performance looks quite good we are quite satisfied with the experience because this is more of an entertainment or lifestyle laptop not uh, uh, used for gaming or heavy task but then uh, you do get uh, an entertainment laptop with this so the purpose is different here so for that purpose it works really well and 16 gigs of uh, onboard storage i mean ram and 1 tb of ssd works really well now talking about the keyboard it's an h to h keyboard and it's a full size keyboard there is no compromise here you can see that it's a full size keyboard included and it's a backlight keyboard 1.4 mm travel which is quite good and the typing experience is pretty good now one thing what we noticed is that uh, since it's an h to h keyboard so you need to do a bit more practice getting used to this keyboard so once you get used to it uh, it's a very good uh, keyboard and the keys are pretty good travel the overall experience is also good there's also backlighting available and uh, it works quite well in terms of experience now it also gets a trackpad at the bottom it's a glass finished trackpad now you also get the number keys here you can see that uh, there is a number key available uh, you can also increase the brightness of uh, this uh, uh, you can see here you can increase the brightness and you also get the number pad now some gestures are there you can actually open the calculator from here so these are some gestures available and uh, Uh, it works pretty well and it's a glass trackpad it's more or less accurate and the uh, experience using the trackpad also was quite good now talking about the speaker output now it has a harman kardon experience and uh, uh, the sound quality is pretty good actually the sound output is pretty good but the loudness could have been a tad better that's what we feel especially being an entertainment laptop we felt that the sound quality was good but uh, the sound output the volume levels could have been slightly higher especially when you watch movies you might find that uh, the overall sound uh, output uh, is slightly slightly feeble in nature now it also supports an ir camera here because it supports windows hello and uh, the camera unlock mechanism is very fast and it detects the fa- face pretty smoothly and no issues there 
now it also comes with a uh, ai noise cancellation microphone included so a uh, microphone works really well and it's the ai noise cancellation microphone which uh, works really well on this laptop now talking about the battery life so this device comes with a 67 watt hour battery and there's also fast charging included 65 watt hour fast charging which can charge from 0 to uh, uh, 60 percentage in around 49 minutes which is pretty impressive and the claimed battery performance is around 10 hours but uh, in reality we got around uh, 6 to 7 hours on an average which is again pretty good for a multimedia laptop because it has to power a 4k OLED display so obviously uh, it definitely takes a bit of battery life but uh, still uh, we feel battery life is pretty optimized and you can get around 6 to 7 hours uh, on a, an average again this depends upon your usage for my usage I got uh, like 6 to 7 hours which is pretty good on uh, this laptop now if you're only using for multimedia you might be able to stretch this a bit more but for our usage we got around six to seven hours which is again pretty good so summing up how good is the asus zenbook flip s ux371 as an overall premium laptop so priced at uh, rupees uh, 1,49,990 the asus zenbook uh, flip s uh, offers uh, premium experience especially in terms of sturdy build lightweight portable and premium looks and a great uh, uh, 4k oled uh, display along with great performance overall and multitasking quite uh, uh, good in terms of overall experience too quite fan silent uh, for daily use and a 67 watt hour battery along with good battery life as well you get around six to seven hours easily now having said that there are a few cons as well one is the keyboard layout is kind of uh, cramped and it does get uh, a bit of time to get used to it and there is uh, no 3.5 mm audio jack nor there is a fingerprint sensor included and also while it's having an OLED display uh, there are people who might not actually want an OLED display because of the higher saturation levels or higher contrast uh, levels it may not be the ideal uh, workstation for video editing so the ASUS ZenBook uh, Flip S UX uh, 371 is a well balanced uh, 2 in 1 uh, ultra portable laptop which offers uh, great hardware including the 11th uh, gen uh, Core i7 uh, Tiger Lake uh, uh, chipsets along with 16 gigs of uh, RAM and a 1 TB of SSD and a great OLED display. So this uh, laptop uh, is uh, more of a lifestyle uh, laptop with premium experience and it's more of an ultra portable laptop. So that was a detailed review of uh, the uh, ASUS ZenBook uh, Flip S UX371. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.